Uh, really, there's a lot of incredible news to share, but I, I want to start with our heart for you, which is if you have any sort of crisis you're going through, whether it's your business, whether it's a family or somebody that has COVID-19, would you please let us know so we can pray for you? We have a whole prayer team. We would really count it an honor to do that for you if, if you have anything you're going through. The news is really incredible, and, and I'll just say up front, Thank you for being a part of First Liberty. It's incredible the opportunity the Lord is giving us to have incredible impact. Um, I, I would just start with, I think, the, the largest of all the impact, which is the, the great order we got right on Easter weekend uh, in Louisville. This, I think, was a unique time. If you look at constitutional law in a pandemic, there's really not much law in this. And so everybody was watching what was going on, the overplay, the abuse of power in certain places around the country. I think everybody's in favor of protecting public health, but when the church is being discriminated against, when people are abusing their power, people were beginning to wonder around the country, have we lost our constitutional system? Is there any sanity to what's going on? Because it looked really crazy. And they were wondering, are we even gonna get this constitutional system back? That victory by Judge Walker that we won on behalf of churches, I think was highly significant. It not only restored religious freedom, but it really restored people's hope across the country that we had a constitutional system and the rule of law was in place. I was contacted by people all over the country who weren't even religious freedom people. They were just people who cared about the Constitution and were very concerned about what they were seeing. I think that's gonna be a seminal case in the future and it's really setting the stage for all the cases that are gonna come uh, during this pandemic. Very important, thank you for being a part of that. In addition, we filed the lawsuit in Mississippi. And of course, this was a small African-American church, had about six cars in the parking lot for a drive-in service, windows up, everybody safe. They're surrounded by police cars, told that they will be criminally charged for being in their cars on the church parking lot. And even one of the officers says on tape, to this African-American pastor, your rights are suspended, uh, which is just unbelievable. Uh, we filed lawsuit uh, in federal court on Wednesday of last week. Later that afternoon, the mayor publicly went out and said they were gonna be backing down. Uh, so that was a very quick victory, we think. We are not pulling the lawsuit until the city council confirms all this. We wanna make sure they don't go back to any of this horrible behavior of threatening churches, but that's another significant victory. Of course, you're aware of just a, a number of weeks ago with the CARES legislation, uh, we were able to get in there and actually put a protection in for all churches, all 501c3 religious organizations so that they don't have any strings uh, or any really loss of their freedoms through this process. And again, most. Uh, of those groups never know we even did that for them. But that was another thing that the Lord allowed us to do. Uh, and in the midst of all this, in, in addition to, uh, to all the, the cases, and we have a number of these cases we're looking at right now of other churches, other religious organizations that things are happening that should never happen. In the midst of all that, we've also been working on the judges. Uh, we just talked to uh, Leader McConnell last week and senators. We've got key judges moving through. In fact, the president just in the last number of weeks has nominated some top level judges, including the judge we mentioned in Louisville, Judge Walker, who's being elevated to a DC circuit position. These are really important and we are working really hard. On, we wanna make sure that when this all ends, when the Senate goes back into place, that these great judges get on the court and there are 38 currently in the system right now. We've gotta get all those through before the end of the year so we have excellent judges across the country on the court. So just realize uh, we're really busy. God's given us incredible opportunity, but when you hear about these victories, the Louisville decision, which I think is just, if you haven't read this, I highly encourage you to read it. We have it on our website. It's powerful. It talks about that this country was founded on religious freedom and goes through really that core freedom and why it was so important that he issued that strong federal ruling. Uh, look at that, share that with other people. These are really good victories that you've had a part in. I think part of really a, a historic uh, you know, case that's going to really be talked about in the future. And there are a number of others in the process we're looking for. We'd, we'd love your prayers. Uh, we're happy to pray for you if we can help you in any way. And uh, just to give you a story to end on that's kind of fun, uh, I was asked, about, we're, we're talking to all kinds of media, New York Times today, Washington Post, CNN, you name it. And uh, the CNN reporter at the end asked me, what actually happened in Louisville after uh, you know, you got that restraining order where the police, did they still go there that morning and write down the license plate as the state had threatened? 
And uh, I checked to find out what happened. And uh, it was fun because I sent the email back to the CNN reporter at the end and I said, you asked for this update, so I thought I'd give it to you. The police did come by that morning, uh, but all they did is look out the window and give a thumbs up. And I said, man, I love this country. Uh, that's the rule of law. That's protection of religious liberty. The police did not want to have to interfere with that church, and they were there to give them a thumbs up. That's the way things should work in this country. Thanks for being a part of what we're doing, and God bless you.